They're small, purple, and to many, quite pretty. But to Oregon biologists, these sea urchins are a major concern. We have uh, very high numbers of purple sea urchins in places that previously we didn't even have sea, purple sea urchins. Scott Groth is a shellfish biologist with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. He's been tracking the influx of urchins over the last five years. We went from basically almost none of them to that's the primary thing on the bottom. A recent count found 350 million purple sea urchins on one Oregon reef alone. That's a more than 10,000 percent increase in just the last five years. The problem, these sea urchins are devouring the kelp forests that are so critical to our marine ecosystem. These are kelp forests that are the foundation of our coastal food chain, the food and habitat for fish. And so They've basically eaten all the food. What's left behind is an ocean floor covered in sea urchins, algae, and bare rock. Growth calls it an ecological tipping point. I think a lot of people have the idea like we could go out and smash those sea urchins or harvest them and turn them into money. But uh, the, the actuality is there's too many to do that. So what's causing the sea urchin explosion? The researchers say it comes down to several factors. One is warmer ocean conditions due to back-to-back -back El Ninos. But perhaps the biggest contributor? The disappearance of their primary predator, which was a sunflower star. In 2014, sea star wasting disease swept Oregon's coast. It caused once healthy starfish to literally dissolve away. In this underwater video, you can see sea star limbs littering the ocean floor. Those sea stars ate the purple urchins. When they died off, the urchin population exploded. The big thing is it's sort of an ecological tipping point where it changes from one type of ecosystem to another. And researchers say at this point all they can do is monitor the problem and look into innovative ways to try and slow it down because they believe those urchins won't be going away on their own. Yeah, it's a little unclear what's going to happen next, but it definitely, uh, definitely could be uh, a change in our nearshore ecosystem. Keely Chalmers reporting for us there.